Hi guys, somebody gave me a tip about Paper WM. I never heard about it, I said, what's Paper WM? And I googled it, or looked it up. Paper WM, this one. And then the first hit was indeed the correct hit. It's for GNOME. We are on GNOME at this point in time. So if I do an alacrity and ask what ISO is this, then it's the ISO you can download today. It's on the AAG. It's for the release of the beginning of March. And I've tested it, played with it. And at this point in time, we have a new package on our repo. GNOME Shell Extension Paper WM Git. So it's not really a separate tiling window manager, but it really feels like it. But we're still on GNOME. So a GNOME Shell Extension. Okay. And I was playing around with it and I I thought this needs to be shared. This needs to be investigated by you guys. I'm not particularly a fan of GNOME, but not against it either. But this makes GNOME, well, in my eyes, since I'm a tiling window manager, better. <laughs> right? I'm always on chat WM since 2023, 2022 was all the year on left WM. So I am always on tiling window managers last years. So this one feels like, hmm, that's not a bad idea. And what is the idea? So it's a tiling window manager, paper WM, and the GNOME shell extension, and you start reading everything that's in here because that's the developer. You can install it via extensions. We do sudo pacman s, and then it's installed. I copy pastes this in my terminal, user bin GNOME extension enable, this one. So click Control shift v done log out log in and i can uninstall it but that's probably better do sudo pacman minus r right since it's installed with s and here is the usage this is not interesting not interesting but you keep reading um hmm. new windows are automatically tiled to the right of the active window taking up as much height as possible super return super return will open a new window and off we go now super arrow to the left makes you understand what's going on it's not it's it's a long train basically with all kind of little wagons and every window can be activated as such so there is a possibility to select this here. This is the one I need to read because there is a lot more and I'm not gonna show you everything, but maybe give you already a taste of, of what can be on your system, on your GNOME. But it's a study that you need to do because there are lots of key bindings. Alt tap is there, super tap, super shift tap. So the things to just move around, those are no surprise I would say, right? But we need to get back to that one. And there is a long list of things that we can do. Super Alt R and Super R, Super C. Super F is maximizing the width of a window. Toggle full screen, I haven't done that. Super Shift F, right? Super F, not Super F. Super Shrum, Super Return, create a new window from the active application. We have a new Firefox, Super Q, it's killed. Close the active window, Super Backspace is not something I've done either. So Super Backspace, working. Super I, absorb the window to the right into the active column. Whoa, <laughs> Super I, what's that? Okay, <laughs> fine. And how do we unabsorb this thing again? Super, uh, expel the window bottom out to the right. Super O. Oh yeah, right? I mean, it gives me vibes. It gives me pleasure to see that this is developed. This can be used. Page down, page up. Not done that either. Ah yeah, so we have more. <laughs> we can go down here and then have another little train of uh, applications this one here super f make this bigger 
Super F again. And then, I don't know, do lots of things. But I need to go back to the, the other one. How was it again? This one here, that's the one I want. Whew. So yeah, you need to navigate again through your, well, tiled windows. And that's quite interesting, it gives me energy. So maybe it gives you energy and maybe you say, oh, I'm gonna investigate what this, uh, what this thing is about, paper WM and, and play with it. If you're a GNOME guy, maybe you say, yeah, why not? So any questions? Well, not for me, right? After this video, I will not use it. I stick to chat WM, but it makes me, well, not doubt, but it makes it uh, an interesting thing to take a look at. If you're a GNOME guy, then maybe this is something for you. There is more, as you see, it keeps on going, but we're almost at the end of the page here. All right, that's it for me. So have a look, paper WM, is it something for you or not? Maybe you've seen already a few things that say, okay, I'm sold and that's fine. Cheers.